Hello and welcome to this PHP video on making a multi-site search. Um, what I mean by a multi-site search is a search engine that can search multiple other sites um, from this one given site. Uh, in, you're not searching your own databases in uh, this site, so uh, don't get it confused for that. It actually just searches other sites. Um, so in this case, we're searching Google, Google Images, Bing, Bing Images, Yahoo, and Yahoo Images um, for whatever search term you want. We also have it set so that you can search in a new window, you can search in the current tab, or you can search on this site, and that would be embedded through the use of an iframe, which generally speaking is bad HTML practice, but um, for uses that we are using, um, it's about the only way to achieve the eff desirable effect. So, in this video I'm just going to demonstrate and explain the folder structure that we will be using, and then in uh, the next part of this series, um, I'll actually start the coding. Now, this uh, video will take a couple of parts to watch, um, and if you have any comments on it or questions with it, you can feel free to ask me. Um, but let's get on to showing how the code works. So basically, you just have this HTML form right here and it has the search box. So we're just going to search for sloth scripts because I'm feeling egotistical today. So we want to search on Google in a new window. So let's click search. You can see it generates this URL on the URL to the search. If you click this it opens it up in a new window and you can see um, the Google search on sloth scripts. Let's say that you want to search for sloth scripts on Bing on their site, the current tab. You can search and it comes up with the um, videos on Bing or the <laughs> videos, the search results on Bing in that same window. It automatically redirected you there. And let's say you want to search Yahoo on this site. You can click search and you can see that this box of Yahoo comes up and you've searched Yahoo for the um, video results, so, or again, the search results. Um, so yes, that's basically how it works. Um, it's supported multiple uh, different sites, and you can easily add in. Um, ew, strange. Oh well. At least the error check is working. I'll see why that is when we actually code out the video, but um well, alright. Well oops, don't click on Amazon. So that's basically the functioning of it. Um as you saw you can just search the sites and as you can see when something goes wrong it gives you a little error message. Um, yeah, so the folder structure is, oh, um, multi-site search here, is the basic folder structure that I will be using for all of my tutorials. Here is your main directory and in this you have our index file. That's the only actual file that we're working with that um, users will visit. Um, in the same main directory you have a core folder. In that, we have an init file. Don't worry about this URLs. It's a text document that just allows me to copy and paste the URL that you need to generate the actual search URL. I'll explain more on that after. But so we have this init file, which works as the library file and performs functions, and it will be included in this index file. Oops, don't need to open that. But, um, and then beside this in it, in, er, in it in this uh, same directory there's an ink folder and in here you have a file that just contains the functions so 
that's all for this part. In the next part of the tutorial series, I will start coding the page. So join me then.